In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for this new day. Thank you for our school and for the house system we have here for our students. We ask your blessings on all the teachers and all the staff involved in this. May it be a good place of formation for them. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome everyone to the Lansing Catholic Podcast. I'm Father Joe, and for today's testimony segment, I brought on someone on staff here, Miss Ashley Groves. Welcome, Ashley. Thank you, Father. You are a teacher here, first of all. So how long have you been teaching? This is my eighth year here at Lansing Catholic. So a good long while. Yeah. And more recently, you've also taken on the role as the house director. Correct. So maybe explain for our listeners what the house system is and what your job is. Yeah, so we've had the house system now for seven years. It is a way to divide up the school um, into smaller pockets of community. So we took the whole school, let's see, yeah, seven years ago, split them into four houses, and each house has six rojinkas within it. So a little family, Polish for little family. Um, And it's just a way to live out more of the social part of our school mission. It's a way to break down the community into smaller portions. Uh, That way, every kid feels like they have a spot where they belong. They have every Ruzhinka has a mentor, so an adult that they can go to and make connections with. Yeah, it's just the goal is just to make the school a little bit smaller and to build that sense of community. When I first came here as the new chaplain, I was struck by the house system because it was something kind of new that I hadn't really heard of before. And it certainly seems like such a useful element of a high school environment because it is easy to just slip through the cracks, just yep. be another student, another kid walking through the halls, just doing my work. No one pays attention. No one really knows me. But having this mechanism in place where they are in this smaller group that's different than just a class because it's multiple grade levels in a Rajika. And it's not just focused on schoolwork. It's much more focused on other things, You know, spending time together, getting to know each other, praying together. It's just such a good thing to have here so that students can be more part of a family, not just one random student in the building. Yeah, and that's kind of why we initially started it, is just seeing different our own issues that we had within the school and wanting to get better and wanting to grow. And this was an area that we were lacking, just that sense of like belonging and really looking out for one another and caring for one another. And so this was... This kind of, through long story short, kind of stumbled into our lap and we're like, yeah, like I think I think this could be a game changer for our school. So we started one and doing more research, like you do see a lot of Catholic schools that have gravitated towards using a house system. There might be public schools too, but for the most part, it's, it's a pretty typical amongst Catholic schools to have this set up to build a smaller community. And it makes sense because it fits right in with our Catholic sense of the human person, that you're yeah. not just an academic person mind floating around learning stuff. You are a human being, first and foremost, and part of being human is having that need for community and connection. And how providential it is that this all started actually before COVID. Yeah. And since COVID, this need for community has certainly been highlighted and the lack thereof in many places in our communities, our society, sadly. So how good that we have it here at school. Uh, I'm curious, because I think this is something that is more common in European, their equivalent of high Mm -hmm. schools. When you were first beginning to bring this here to Lansing Catholic, was there talk at all about how this has played out in Europe, or is that not really part of the conversation? Not really, no. How it actually came about is we were pretty broken as a school, lots of different reasons for that, looking on ways on how we could heal and grow and, like I said, become more of a community. Our president at the time, Tom Maloney, had all of us read this, like, article this um, excerpt from a book. I think it was over about Steubenville, the issues that like Steubenville in Ohio was facing with their campus and their students just feeling totally disconnected and away from God. They started this house system. I shouldn't say it like changed overnight, but like very dramatically changed the culture down there and giving everyone this sense of of belonging. And um, like you said, you get to the cool part about our school and schools that use this is you do get to focus on the whole human person, not just the intellect. And so this system allows us to do a lot of cool things within that. And so, yeah, then then when we read that, we're like, whoa, this, this school did this in Ohio and had success. Maybe we could try that. And, and so it just kind of took off from there. So maybe explain a little bit for people that aren't familiar. If you're walking into a Rajinka that's functioning well, what does that look like? What are they doing? How does it work? Is there a special room in the building to go to or, or what? Yeah, so everybody is assigned to Rojinka. It's made up of roughly 20-ish students, 15 to 20, usually not more than that. Same gender, but mixed grade levels. Everybody's got at least one adult mentor, sometimes two. A lot of the girls have 
two and some of the boys as well have two mentors. Any given day, it, it could be such a wide variety of things. So we have four pillars within our house mission statement that we pray together, we play together, we serve and we care. So the activities that you would see in Rojinka kind of touch on one of those four. It really depends on the personality of the group and guys and girls are so different. A lot of times the girls like to do arts and crafts or they color or they just want to chat. And so there's like groups that have coffee house um, once a week where like they'll brew their coffee or their hot cocoa and they'll just sit around and just chat about life and, you know, and get to know each other on that level. And then the guys tend to do more things a little bit more active. They like to play sports or cards or chess or we've got a Nintendo Switch. So it, it's a wide variety of things, um, which, is, which is the cool part, is that it really is catered towards the students and how do we teach them to be social beings, to like step away from technology, to get away from the phones and the screens and just build those human to human peer-to-peer interactions. Yeah, I I couldn't agree more. I think it's a, a great place for all that to happen. And it's cool just to pop in and just check on different Rajinkas, see what they're up to. I, one of my more memorable times doing that was Mrs. Gavin, her Rajinka. She wanted to teach them some dances, kind of like stuff you do at wedding receptions, certain dances that everyone knows. And there's one that I learned from Catholic Youth Summer Camp for this song called The Church Clap. Yep. So <laughs> she brought all her girls down to the cafeteria. And I taught them how to do the church clap That's dance. Awesome. And, you know, some were into it, some not so much, but they all kind of went along. And then we tried doing a few more and then and that was it. So that was that was one of the Rajinka activities for their group was learning how to dance. Yeah. Some of the guys have learned how to tie ties, you know, just some of those life skills that we don't get to like teach, but that like everybody needs to know. Like it's it's cool that we have an opportunity to do that here. Yeah. So something we've sort of tweaked this year is what we're calling Mentor Mondays. So maybe talk a little bit about what that is and why, we, why we're doing that. Yeah, so one of, the, one of the original intents of this house system is that in addition to the community, we would create spaces where everybody felt like they had a place where they could belong, which is why every Rojinka has a mentor, an adult that isn't necessarily, I mean, you could have them as your teacher, but the goal of Rojinka isn't necessarily that you're teaching them school or getting grades out of them. So you have this adult that gets to see you in a different light besides just academics that can teach you some of those life skills that can look out for you, that can ask how your day is going. So our original intent was to have this like mentorship that's present within these groups. But because we were so like expedited, I guess, if that's the right word in this process of starting our house system, we just we weren't really sure how and when to like fit it in and everything was new. And it, like I said, it was just so fast paced. And so now that we're a couple years into our house system, we were like, okay, let's revisit this. Like we know that we had wanted to do this mentor thing. How do we put that into place? And so this year we've taken just about every Monday of the school year, calling it Mentor Monday. The teachers get to like pull the students kind of one at a time and just just chat and just connect. Everybody else is still doing normal Rojinka things. You can still do cards. You can still, you know, watch a movie or hang out. But the teachers are now being a little bit more intentional and have the time and the space to mentor and to get to know the kids on a deeper level, which is huge. And, and, having, and I've, I've heard so many great things from students and teachers so far. And having a place for that one-on-one -on -one connection is important because that is something I've observed. It can be a little bit hard when you've got 15 to 20 students and you're the one mentor. Yep. Yeah, there can be stuff we'll do together, but that one-on-one -on -one connection can sometimes get missed. So having this Mentor Monday, I think, is a really good addition to the overall plan. Yeah. And, and I've, yeah, I've also heard lots of good things about it. I think both the teachers and the students are appreciating it a lot. Absolutely. Thanks, Ashley. It's great to hear about all the house program. Thanks for all your work in that area. Yeah, of course. And keep it up. All right. Thanks for having me.